Hello guys and uh, Happy New Year! As of uh, 15th of uh, January 2021 we have a uh, new uh, beta BIOS version for the uh, ASUS Z490-E uh, um, ROG gaming motherboard it is the uh, version 2004 and there we see it's a beta version from uh, 15th of January let's uh, click download and now uh, we simply need to go into the uh, containing folder and extract uh, this uh, zip file the content of the archive is this the uh, BIOS file and the BIOS renamer uh, exe we need first to, um, before we flash the BIOS, we need to rename uh, the uh, cap file, the BIOS file, by double clicking this one. We get this message. In order to rename it, we press a key, any key. And there we have it. Now let's open the uh, AI Suite 3 uh, software. Here we have the system info. You can see currently I have the BIOS file version 1003 and it will be updated to 2004. Here we go in uh, Easy Update tab and uh, here we need to browse the uh, location of the file. And there we have it. We select it and click open. Now all we need to do is to hit update and flash. We see here the current BIOS version is 1003 and the selected BIOS will be version 2004. Let's click flash, click, click OK and another OK. And now just have patience. The BIOS uh, update process begins with a uh, clearing of the database don't touch anything uh, just wait for the uh, loading line and be patient
Here we see the uh, clear database began. Now we're at uh, update area 2. Area 3. Processing. Area 4 and 5 and now the update was successfully the system will be reset we'll get to restarts This was the first one, and now the second reboot. And here we have ME is updating, do not shut down or reset the system to prevent system boot failure. Again, please wait and have patience. And now we'll have the third restart. And now the fourth one. And right now we should be uh, logged on into the uh, BIOS. So we see we even got a uh, fifth restart. There it is. This is the message we are after. Please enter setup to recover BIOS settings. Um, the two options we get is to press F1 or F3. F1 is for Intel default CPU settings, so the one that I will choose as always because I don't want to overclock it in any way, or F3 to unlock limits for increased performance. For me, the safe way, the stock power limits are perfect. So now let's 
press F1. And here we are in the uh, in the new BIOS. Up there we see BIOS version 2004. We see it was created on the 13th of January, but it showed on the site on the 15th. And uh, I only managed to uh, uh, update it today on the 24th because I haven't checked it. Um, sooner, but what we'll need to do right now, it would be a ad advice. I would advise you to um, um, log into. Um, let's see uh, if we can do it like this. Um, go into easy mode, so you can click here or press F7 and enable the uh, XMP profile for the RAM to uh, um, have it working at the highest frequency uh, it was designed to. You see right now with a simple click my RAM jumped from 2133 or 2400 to 3200 CL14. So this is the first thing to do and then we get back into advanced mode in advanced I think it was USB configuration but no not right here let's get back on board devices configuration here on the USB power delivery in soft off state in state S5 it is enabled we need to disable this uh, because we don't want the microphone or our keyboard to remain powered uh, after we shut down the PC. So USB power delivery in soft off state must S5 must be disabled. And that's about it. Right now let's hit uh, F10. Save changes and reset. Right here we have everything that we selected. OK. <clears throat> and this was it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I wish you all the best and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.